Like most freshmen, Levante Taylor had to adjust to football at the collegiate level. My first game uh, against Ole Miss, you know, when I first got out there, everything was moving real fast to me. Uh, as the season progressed, you know, the game was really slowed down for me. Uh, so, you know, I uh, understand what Coach Kelly was talking about, how the game and, and, and the process of a thought it was, it was slow down once I get it. In all, Taylor played in 13 games, recording 16 tackles, and he contributes his ability to make an impact to those closest to him on and off the field. Yeah, I'll say Coach Kelly, uh, Derwin, and my family, uh, you know, they were just telling me, you know, just you got to be patient, you know, my time will come, and then my time really came. I just passed it on, um, Jalen passed it down to me because, you know, that was a guy that I came in, that I took, that he took me on his wing, and, you know, like I said, I, I did the same thing with Levante, basically telling them, man, not to, to get discouraged, you know, your time coming. As a five-star recruit, the pressure is always on, and while Taylor understands it, he's more than happy to let his play on the field do the talking for him. I didn't really try to handle it as much, you know, because I, Whenever I'm on the field, I just make plays, you know, the, the ball finds me. So, you know, just coming in with all the hype, you know, five-star cornerback, number one cornerback in the country, you know, you know, like this year is, is the year to show them, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just going to go out there and not worry about the result and just play my game. The hope is Taylor's game will help bolster a secondary that wants to be the best in college football. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.